Hey guys, in this video, let us learn about Zool. Zool is a part of Netflix OSS library. It is a gateway API that connects all the requests that is coming from the client, whether it is a mobile app or a web app or a REST API to the backend microservice ecosystem. So, it acts as a single point of entry from the client side to the backend microservice ecosystem. Zool also acts as a server-side load balancer. Zool also supports dynamic routing and filtering. Zool also has a set of predefined filters with the help of which you can filter and route the clients to the appropriate services. Let me show you a bigger picture of this Zool Gateway API. Here is the microservice ecosystem. We have Eureka Service Registry and 4 microservices. We have got 3 instances of Service 1 2 instances of service 2, 2 instances of service 3 and 4 instances of service 4. All the services have registered themselves to the Eureka service registry. Let me come to the client part. The client is the outside world. It can be a mobile app or a web app or a REST API integration. When the client wants to connect to the microservice ecosystem, you need Zool as a single point of entry. So, this is called as the Gateway API. The Zool also has to register itself to the Eureka Service Registry. Whenever the client wants to connect to the microservice ecosystem, he can do it only through Zool. Zool will connect to the appropriate microservice by doing a lookup in the Eureka Service Registry. Let me give one other pictorial representation. This is the whole microservice ecosystem with Netflix. Here we have got the Eureka Service Registry. The dashboard of Eureka, for configuration details we have got git repository, for security purpose we have got OAuth and for Hystrix, the Hystrix dashboard. Because we are having multiple microservices, we can use Turbine and use Turbine dashboard also. We have got few services over here, service 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we also have the appropriate libraries attached to each services like Ribbon, Fiend, Hystrix among which we have learned about Ribbon and Hystrix. The database can be anything, it can be RDBMS, NoSQL and Big Data. Now coming to the client part. The client can be a web app, a mobile app or any other API integration. Whenever the client wants to connect to the microservice ecosystem, we have a single point of entry which is nothing but Zool which is a API gateway. For the microservice application that we have been dealing with till now, this will be the pictorial representation. We have already completed product service, cart service, order service. To order we have added Hystrix. To cart we have added Ribbon. All the services are registered to Eureka Service Registry. Now we will go and create our Zool API Gateway. The client for this microservice application can be a web app or a mobile application. In case of a web application, you can even develop it using Angular or React or any web app. In our case, we will not be using Angular or React. Instead, we will have our client as a Spring MVC application. In this video, we will create a Zool API gateway to connect to the microservice. To test this application, before creating Spring MVC, we will test it using Postman and directly from the browser. Now let us go back to STS. Zool API gateway is also going to be a separate project. So, let me create it as a Spring Starter Project. File, New, Spring Starter Project. Let me give the name as Spring Product App, Zool. Click Next. Here what we need is Zool, then Web, Eureka Discovery Client, Spring Boot Dev Tools. Here we are not going to create any controller because this is just a gateway API which is going to connect the client to the backend microservice ecosystem. So these are the four dependencies that we need now. Click finish. The application is getting ready. We are going to add only two things. One is enable Zool proxy to this application and add few configuration details in application.yml. The application is ready. Let me go and add the annotation in the main class. At the rate, enable Zool proxy. Let me also add at the rate, 
enable Eureka client because this also has to register itself to the Eureka service registry. Next, I want application.yaml. Let me copy it from some other microservice. SRC main resources. We'll copy it and then modify it. So here, let me change the port number to 9000. This also has to register itself to the Eureka service registry. Let me give a name for this. Zool API. Now, what is the configuration or what is the property that we need to give here in the YAML file? Whenever a client wants to connect to the backend microservice, it can be done only through Zool. So, we need to provide the routing details of the microservices in Zool so that the client can use it to connect to the appropriate microservice. Say for example, if I want to connect to product service, it is running in port number 7092. It will not be visible to the client at all. The client will try to connect only through Zool. So the backend details of the microservice is completely hidden from the client. And Zool decides to which port number of this particular microservice to connect with. So Zool acts as a server side load balancer also. Now let me come to this application.yaml. Here let me add the properties for Zool. The first property is Zool.prefix. With what name you want to connect to the backend microservice. In our case, we are working with product application. So let me give it as online product. Next is we need to specify the routes. So it is zool.routes. Based on the microservice that you want to connect with, you need to specify the routes. So in our case, we are having three microservices. One is product service, the other one is card service, the third one is order service. We have to specify the routes for all these services. So let me give it as product service and here path. In what way the client has to call? It should be slash product hyphen API slash star star. And what is the service ID of this application? It is again product service only. Okay. This is how you have to specify the routes. If I want to connect to product service, then I need to call through product API only. Similarly, we can do for card service and order service. Once it is done, I will show you how to call product service. I will give the complete URL over here. For card service, again it is card service. Uh, be very careful with the indentation. Here I will give it as cart API and the service ID is cart service and similarly for order service, order API, order service. Okay, this is the configuration details. What will be the URL if I want to connect to product service from the client side? It goes like this, http colon slash slash localhost. It can be localhost or your IP config or if you are working in a Docker environment, that IP, that particular configuration, I am going with the basic one, localhost colon 9000. That is, the client is connecting only to the Zool API gateway. In Zool API gateway, what is the first prefix? It is online product. Slash, I want to connect to product service, so I need to give product API. Slash. Now I need to identify what is the URL that is there in the product controller. In product controller, if you want to retrieve all the products, it should be slash product service slash products. Slash products. So this is how you will do for product service. Similarly, let us try for card service also. For card service, it is HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 9000. See here, we are not connecting to the service directly from the client. We are connecting only to Zool API gateway. Zool is responsible for identifying the appropriate service based on the service ID that you have given over here and it will connect. And as I told you, Zool will act like a server side load balancer. If there are more than one instance of product service running, then Zool will pick and choose the appropriate server based on the request load. Let me complete this URL. So here it is online product slash cart API slash let me go into cart service here in cart controller it should be cart service slash add many to cart category and brand cart service slash add hyphen many to cart slash TV slash Sony 
okay similarly we can do for order service also so whenever you are creating a web application using angular or react or spring mvc or any other uh, rest api you need to give this particular url only to connect to the backend microservice so literally we don't know in which port number or in which server the backend microservice is running we are trying to connect only to zool if you have to tell this in a simple example assume that i want to meet a person in a particular office when i go there and if i inform the security the security is responsible for connecting me to the appropriate person i really don't know to in which place or in which floor or in which uh, cabin this particular person is sitting based on the name the security will connect me to the appropriate person that way the zool also is working now here let me complete this order hyphen api in controller order controller it is order service slash checkout slash category and brand slash checkout slash category will use the same category and brand is samsung okay so this is how you need to call one more thing also i want to tell you there are different types of patterns to connect from zool to the back end microservice usually we will not connect to the services directly instead we will be having a common service that will be connected from zool then the common service is responsible for connecting to the appropriate service say for example i am having a unified service which will be connected from zool that unified service is responsible for connecting to product service or cart service or order service instead of scattering it we are unifying it and having a single microservice which will be another single point of entry to the back end microservice ecosystem so there are different patterns on that okay so uh, this is the configuration that is needed for zool now let us run all the services let me first start with eureka service registry product service cart service order service and zool api gateway all the services are running registry product cart order and zool so from here also you can see that registry cart order product and zool all the services are up and running it is also showing the appropriate port numbers in which the services are running now let us go to the browser we have got the dashboard of eureka service registry you can see all the services are up and running we want only zool the thing that i am going to show here is how actually we are connecting to the back end microservice from a client the idea over here is i am just showing you how actually you have to call the microservice from a client application through zool usually we will not run zool directly because zool is only a gateway api you need a client the client will connect to the back end microservice through zool this is the url that you have to give in the client application that is what we are going to see now 9000/onlineproduct/i want to connect to product service so it should be product hyphen api which is the dummy route slash the proper url of product service so it should be product hyphen service slash products here we have got the output so in your client application this is the url with which you will be calling the back end product service which is done through zool so same way let us do it for cart service let me copy the url and here in it should be cart hyphen api slash cart hyphen service add menu to cart slash tv slash sony it has given me a time out let me refresh it again now i have got the output with zool you can also add filters based on the request that is coming in you can filter it and send it to the back end microservice there are also post filters meaning to say that i can filter the response that is coming from the back end microservice and send it to the client based on the client's need there is also an error filter whenever an error or exception occurs in the back end microservice instead of showing an error i can show a user friendly error message to the client we will try with the order service also in case of order service it is order api slash order service slash checkout tv slash samsung 
It's giving me an error. Let me refresh it again. It was because of a timeout. That's it. Okay. So these are the URLs that you need to give in your client application if you want to connect to the backend microservice. Because we don't have a client, I have shown you how to call it through Zool itself. You can even try and test this application using Postman. So I hope this is clear. This is how we use Zool. Thank you.